over the mountains and the sea. Your river runs with love for me, and I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands, for I will always sing of when your love came down. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. 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 Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. 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 Oh, I feel like dancing. It's foolishness, I know. When the world has seen the light Oh, I feel like dancing It's foolishness, I know When the world has seen the light They will dance with joy like we're dancing now I could sing of your love forever. 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 Thank you, Lord, for the years you've been using. And thank you, Lord, for your goodness in choosing me. Lord, my soul, you've truly fed round all pitfalls. I know you've led. So please don't stop using me. Thank you, Lord, for the grace that you've supplied. And thank you, Lord, for you surely did lead and guide. Lord, my soul, you've truly fed round all pitfalls. I know you've led. So please 
Let me testify. Tell me what to say. Let me be an inspiration for some sinners. So salvation. Please, 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 Lord, don't stop using me. Oh, use me, Lord, every day. Let me testify. Tell me what to say.
Good evening, everybody, and welcome on Christmas night. So welcome to a wonderful music service that we have scheduled for you. And so we're going to start off first thing this evening with our opening prayer. And let me find it here. I have 85,000 pieces of paper. And so tonight we're going to be reading just an abridged version of this prayer because it's like three pages long. So. I don't think most of us can stay awake that long after the food coma that we probably experienced. <laughs> right? Yes. So, Lord, we also know that December 25th can be not so merry for a whole lot of people, for a whole host of reasons. And so we pray for those who are experiencing loss during this Advent season, whether that's relational, financial, spiritual, unemployment, addictions, chronic illnesses. And we know, especially with COVID rearing its ugly head for like the 15th time, that a lot of our folks are sick with COVID. And we need to also pray for our family and friends in the Northeast who are in the midst of a severe blizzard. Um, I talked to my mom today and they had 13 inches of snow and extremely high winds. So all kinds of whiteouts and things like that. So we just need to be in prayer for them. And so we just ask, dear God, that on this very special day, this day that we celebrate the birth of Jesus, that you would send your holy anointing touch to fall afresh on each person. Renew our spirits, strengthen us, and give us the blessings that you want us to have. And these things we pray. Amen. Amen. And so I believe the entire order of worship tonight got thrown out the window, thrown into a blender, <laughs> mixed up, and what came out is what you're going to experience tonight. <laughs> so with that said, if I miss my cues and I see the red announcement sign flashing behind me, so that's my cue. So what do we have on the announcement board? I think there's some birthdays there, maybe. Yes. So today, not only do we celebrate Jesus's birthday, but we celebrate Jesus's birthday as well. Yeah. And then, of course, on the 28th is Aaron's birthday. On the 29th is Rich's birthday. Yes. He's going to be a very young angel. Yes. And Scott Selp has a birthday on the 29th. And our very own Chris, our cameraman. Has a birthday on the 31st. So, let's just give a shout out and a happy birthday to everybody, okay? 
One, two, three. Happy birthday! All right, all right. <coughs> and of course, next Sunday afternoon, which is New Year's Day. Yeah. And I'm assuming that most of us will not be having any kind of uh, leftovers from New Year's Eve. I know my biggest idea is uh, I might make it past 10 o'clock up to be awake, but probably not. But next Sunday afternoon at 3.30, we have a game afternoon and snacks. And so come on out for that. And so we hope to see everybody there. And I think we have one more announcement. Yes, January 29th, a long ways off. We have a full music service coming up. Hmm. And I believe that that takes care of the announcements for this week. That brings us to our time of offering. And so, oh, where did I, oh here's my tie-dye pig. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. So, our little friend here, once our little friend has eaten all the greenery and the coinage and all that that he can possibly hold, or she, they go wee, wee, wee all the way to the bank. And then whatever they put into the bank goes to help folks in need. Um, we recently used these funds to help get uh, some of our LGBT brothers and sisters out of the Ukraine after uh, the, the invasion by Russia. We've used it to help purchase uh, metal roofs for victims of hurricanes. Um, we used it once for uh, meals for low income LGBT seniors and a host of other things. And so if you would like to make a donation to help feed the tie-dye pig or to the general fund, you can do so several ways. You can go to Zell and you can Zell us. I love saying that, you can Zell us at 714-662-6972. You can go to our website, rbmcc.org and you can click on that lovely little yellow donate button. It'll take you out to PayPal and you can make a donation there. Or if you're a traditionalist, like some of us are, but I am not a traditionalist tonight, let me tell you. <laughs> you can go to, you can drop us a check in the mail to Resurrection Beach MCC, 11037 Warner Avenue, number 130 in beautiful Fountain Valley, California, 92708. And so with that, as we are, Yes, and so family prayer. So, Frida, are you ready for family prayer? <laughs> well, I, I said the I said the entire order of serve, huh? We didn't take the off. Well, we will in a second. So we can have somebody else receive the offering while Frida's doing family prayer. Yeah, come down. Yeah. And so Frida's going to come up and lead us in our family prayer. And, and I'm sorry to throw you such a curveball, Frida. Oh, it's all right. I just was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to go in that door. I'll go. Because we got the dog over. Who wants to? Well, thank you very much. What are we doing? That's all right. right. So while we're waiting for Frida to be able to thank work our way the through the maze to get here, um, let's see, what else do I know? Do you like my hat? Yeah. 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 You know, last Sunday night we were at our usual eatery, and one of the waitresses there had on a purple Santa Claus hat. Oh. And I was like, oh, purple is my color. I want it. <laughs> and then she said, Well, I bought it years ago somewhere. And I was like, Well, you know what? Then I have to have a rainbow one. <laughs> and within a couple of minutes, it was like, come to Papa, right? Yeah. <laughs> and they delivered it by 11.30 yesterday morning. Oh, yes. And the order said, well, you'll get it by 10 p.m. Christmas Eve. And I thought, well, honey child, you better get it here way before 3 o'clock. <laughs> and it did. So here's Frida. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <I'll see> <laughs> uh, we have got... Uh, some praises and some prayer requests, all from last week. And I would like to wish everyone a healthy and happy Christmas. Yes. Uh, Robert Reedy continues to heal. Yay. Praises. Randy Jones, uh, who some of us 
don't know because he hasn't been around in a while, but used to be a regular uh, member, has been suffering with health issues for about five years. And he is giving, asking for prayer for strength so that he can get out and do things with his partner, Zach. So we need to keep him, because it's hard to be confined when you just don't feel you could go. And <clears throat> praises because Rudy went home from the hospital. Amen. He yeah. had pneumonia and he's home. Yeah. And uh, that praises. Pray you know, prayers get answered. Yeah. There's just no doubt about it. You cannot convince me that they don't. And have you heard of any update on Marcos's neighbor? No. Um, Marcos uh, Pajanko, his 90, 94-year-old yeah, 94 year old neighbor who suffers from dementia uh, got lost. Um, and I think that was... Thursday night, maybe Friday night. Yeah, it was her. and oh, we just someone's... pray that she's been returned to home, or someone's looking out for her, because it's not good for a ninety-four-year-old lady to be wandering around alone. And uh, Vince prayers for Brad O's mom who had a stroke. We need to pray for her. Uh, Jennifer Labresto was feeling unwell. She didn't know what was wrong. We just hope that it's nothing serious because she often ends up in the hospital. So we need to just pray for her health. <clears throat> and we need to keep Anna in prayer for a difficult situation at Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> No I'm secret. Quit. That was what it was all about. Oh, well, then we need to pray about it. And we need to continue to pray for Marilyn Hashikoff. It's better. Praise God. We need for less weird. And all last week. And, 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 and all last week. And Jen Hinman, uh, her. Nephew. Nephew. I forgot to write that down. Her <laughs> nephew had, and his friend and the dog had a car accident, and they just had minor injuries, mm -hmm. but the car was totaled, and they were out somewhere away from a lot. But praise comes right after that. A highway patrolman took them to a restaurant, including the dog, some people don't like to put the dog in the car. But this patrolman took them and the dog to a restaurant that's like five minutes away from the bus or train station. So because they couldn't get a rental car, they had tried and there just wasn't any available. So they were no longer stranded. So praise God for that good Samaritan. Yes. Uh, Cynthia's friend, Kim, I don't know if she had had any forewarning of this or not, but this poor lady uh, couldn't move her legs, went to the hospital, and she was diagnosed with stage four cancer and uh, given a very short period of time to live. Wow. So just pray for that family. It is such a hard time of year. Any time is hard to live, to lose a family member. But I think this time of year especially. And Jeff K yeah. uh, has had a tremendous amount of pain and uh, from his neck and, and his back. We need to keep him in prayer. That's not good. Uh, Laura Kreider's cousin, uh, Ma Margie, who's 80, just had her second stroke. Mm -hmm. So we just, let's pray to bring this lady back to health. And our Carl is continuing to have symptoms of COVID and has um, fatigue, cough, and just being generally miserable. Mm -hmm. And this has been going on about three weeks. So he's really asking for intervention. 
Anyone else have a prayer request? My friend Ann was just admitted into the emergency room. She had problems breathing and they are going to admit her. Oh. No. Anyone else? Our grandchildren's other grandma may be taking be taken off of life support in the oh, next couple no. of days. So prayers for our granddaughters as they navigate through She's their, their, their yeah. first yeah. episode of grief. Oh. Silent request. Okay. Let's go, with God. Loving God, we have come before you tonight. And we say thank you for kind people in this world who give rights to strangers. We ask that you would continue to bless that person and keep them safe. We ask that you would touch each person that we talked about here tonight who's ill or in pain or looking at coming home to you. Be with them, be with their families, touch them with healing whenever possible and comfort always. I ask that you would intervene in all difficult situations because over the holidays, it sometimes it's very tough for families. I ask that you would calm people down, put your loving arms around them and bring that spirit of love and kindness and joy into each and every family's home. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 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 Beautiful prayer. <clears throat> and so our next item on the uh, agenda for this evening for our worship service, our order of worship, <clears throat> it sounded a bit business-like, so I'll change that, it is going to be uh, communion. And so as we prepare for communion, we have a video that we'd like you to be able to watch. Hmm. And I will like the Christ candles because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> At this table, everyone is welcome. At this table, everyone is seen. At this table, everybody matters. No one falls between. At this table, you can say whatever. At this table, you can speak your mind. At this table, everything is for you. This is enough for everyone. So come as you want. your 
come at this table. Everybody cares at this table. Everybody matters. So come, pull up a chair. Which is why I'm wearing my rainbow Santa Claus hat <laughs> as a very visible symbol for all of us that all are welcome to come and receive because God created us in God's own image and called that creation good. <laughs> and so wherever you fall on the rainbow spectrum, <laughs> you are welcome. Okay. We're all on the rainbow spectrum, aren't we? to some degrees and so we are all invited to be a table with Christ Jesus and so you know as I shared last week when we had to pull a rabbit out of our hat and grab some very warm delicious pers persimmon bread for <laughs> and I reminded folks that during COVID we used whatever we had some of the folks who were virtual that used tea and scones or coffee and pepper jack cheeses you know i personally used orange juice v8 juice uh water coca-cola whatever i had tortillas you name it and so tonight on christmas night we have some very lovely and wonderful iced marble breads mm. they look amazing and we have either water or eggnog. And so you will be able to choose which one you want. And we will consecrate them because <coughs> consecrated, it come, becomes for us, the body and blood of Christ Jesus. And so at Resurrection Beach MCC, as at every MCC throughout the world, this is an open table. And so that means that you don't need to be a member of this church or any church. All are welcome to come and to receive. And so we have many things here tonight. We have this delicious bread, we have water, we have eggnog, we have a cracker, and we have some very special stones that we're going to be distributing a little later on in the service as a reminder for everything that we are and to be the gift of hope, peace, joy, and love to others. And so what's gonna happen is I'm going to invite you to take one that speaks to you and then to take two or three that you would like to be able to give to someone when the time comes as that gift of hope, peace, joy. And so at every worship service, we remember the events that took place in the upper room that night when Jesus was gathered there with his disciples as depicted in the painting, along with family of choice, people that he had been in ministry with, men, women, children. And we all know that wherever there is food, there will be pets <laughs> because they will find it. And so I'm sure there was pets there as well. And so after the meal, Jesus reached into the center of the table and he picked up a piece of unleavened bread. He raised it toward heaven, he blessed it, he gave thanks for it, and he broke it. And he said to those gathered there, this bread represents my body, which will be broken for the forgiveness of your sins. Whenever you eat of this bread, remember me. He passed it among them and they consumed it. And then likewise, when they had consumed it, he reached into the center of the table and he picked up a cup of wine. We believe it to be the cup of Elijah that was put out in anticipation of the coming Messiah. And he raised it toward heaven. He blessed it. He gave thanks for it. And then he breathed into it with the very same breath, the very same spirit that God had breathed into Adam. And he said, this cup, represents the new covenant that I make with you today. 
whenever you drink of this cup, remember the covenant that I make. He passed it among them. And so now let us bless these elements and then we will get them passed to you so that you all can participate in communion as well. So holy God, we just pray that you would make all of these elements for us representative of the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ on that cross. And that in our receiving these elements, that we would be blessed and nourished in all that we do. And these things we pray. Amen. And so I'm going to start here. So uh, Marilyn, if you want to get one for Marty and then pass it around. And then here's the eggnog for those of you that want eggnog. Pass that down around. And when it gets down to the end, if you want to scoot it on over. And here's water if you'd rather have water. If you have soda and you want to use soda, that is perfectly fine. You know, the first time I was exposed to this was at a retreat and we used high C and animal crackers. <laughs> and I was like, you say what? But you know what? It works, right? And so as soon as this gets passed around, we will consume the elements together. And then we get to start our Christmas cantata. That's where the fun really begins. So it's going to be a service full of scripture and music and a lot of singing. So I hope you all have your me, 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 me's worked out. <laughs> or the uh, fossil lati dose, however you want it to be. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll get it back up there, too. <laughs> and, of course, whatever is left over, we will consume at the end. Let us now consume the bread. And now, may we all drink from the cup. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, we thank you so much for the sweetness that you bring to life, for the quenching of our thirst, for meeting our every need. So we just thank you, Holy God, for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, and especially on this day as we celebrate his birth. And these things we pray. Amen. Amen. And so, as promised, I do believe that that now brings us to our cantata time. But I do want to interrupt before things get started. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, you never know what we're going to do around here. <laughs> you know, this is your family of choice. Absolutely. And you are very, very loved and appreciated. So this is a card. There's a little something in it. Uh -huh. And this is a representation because the tickets don't come on sale yet. Okay. Uh, Pastor Dale was very taken with the Men Alive concert. Yeah. And wants to go to the next one. 
So this is seed money toward that. I have no idea well, how much they'll cost. <laughs> <laughs> well, bless you. And there's dinner money inside. So. Oh, just what I need, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you are loved and appreciated. Yes, you are. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Especially after the 10 pounds of ham and scalp potatoes that are sitting back there. So I do believe, let me check my thingy. Yes, it's amazing what technology does, isn't it? So that brings us to the beginning of our cantata. And so Joyce, Joyce will be reading our very first scripture for this evening. The angelic prophecy of Jesus' birth. During the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, the angel Gabriel was sent from God's presence to an unmarried girl named Mary, living in Nazareth, a village in Galilee. She was engaged to a man named Joseph, a true descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Rejoice, beloved young woman, for the Lord is with you, and you are anointed with great favor. Mary was deeply troubled over the words of the angel and bewildered over what this may mean for her. But the angel reassured her, saying, Do not yield to your fear, Mary, for the Lord has found delight in you and has chosen to surprise you with a wonderful gift. You will become pregnant with a baby boy, and you are to name him Jesus. He will be supreme and will be known as the son of the highest. And the Lord God will enthrone him as king on the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign as king of Israel forever, and his reign will have no limit. Mary said, but how could this happen? I am still a virgin. Gabriel answered, the spirit of holiness will fall upon you, and almighty God will spread his shadow of power over you in a cloud of glory. This is why the child born to you will be holy and he will be called the son of God. What's more, your aged aunt Elizabeth has also become pregnant with a son. The barren one is now in her sixth month. Not one promise from God is empty of power. Nothing is impossible with God. Then Mary responded saying, yes, I will be a mother for the Lord. As his servant, I accept whatever he has for me. May everything you have told me come to pass. And the angel left. Amen. Amen.
that right? Okay. His mother, Mary, had promised Joseph to be his wife. But while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Her fiance, Joseph, was a righteous man, full of integrity. And he didn't want to disgrace her. But when he learned of, his, of her pregnancy, he secretly planned to break the engagement. While he was still debating with himself about what to do, he fell asleep and had a supernatural dream. An angel from the Lord appeared to him and said, Joseph, descendant of David, don't hesitate to take Mary into your home as your wife, because the power of the Holy Spirit has conceived a child in her womb. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Savior, for he is destined to give his life to save his people through their sins. This happened to fulfill what the Lord had spoken through his prophet. Listen, a virgin will be pregnant. She will give birth to a son, and he will be known as Emmanuel, which means in Hebrew, God becomes one of us. When Joseph woke from, uh, when Joseph woke from his dream, he did all that the angel of the Lord instructed him to do. He took Mary to be his wife, but they refrained from having marital relations until she gave birth to her firstborn son, whom they named Jesus. He was her man, she was his wife. God's child. 
child. He was God's child. He was her man, she was his wife. And in a winter night, he knelt by her as she gave birth. We have a little drummer girl who's on it. We renamed it to Little Drummer Girl. I wish I'd known I would have changed the lyrics. There you go. <laughs> census to be taken throughout his empire. Quirinus was the governor of Syria at that time. Everyone had to travel to the hometown of their family 
to complete the mandatory census. So Joseph and his wife, Mary, left Nazareth, a village in Galilee, and journeyed to their hometown in Judea, to the village of Bethlehem, King David's ancient home. They were required to register there since they were both direct descendants of David. Mary was pregnant and nearly ready to give birth.
you did it. <laughs> the order got changed around a little bit. So. <laughs> that night in a field near Bethlehem, shepherds were watching over their flocks. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared in radiant, sp radiant splendor before them, lighting up the field with a blazing glory of God. And the shepherds were terrified. But the angel reassured them, saying, Don't be afraid, for I have come to bring you good news, the most joyous news the world has ever heard. And it is for everyone, everywhere. For today in Bethlehem, a rescuer was born for you. He is the Lord Yahweh, the Messiah. You will recognize him by this miraculous sign. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a feeding trough. Then, all at once, in the night sky, a vast number of glorious angels appeared, the very armies of heaven. And they all praised God, singing, Glory to God in the highest realms of heaven. For there is peace and good hope is given to the sons of men. When the choir of angels disappeared and returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go, let's hurry and find this word who was born in Bethlehem and see for ourselves what the Lord has revealed to us. So they hurried off and found their way to Mary and Joseph. There was the baby lying in a feeding trough. Upon seeing this miraculous sign, the shepherds recounted what had just happened. Everyone who heard the shepherd's story was astonished by what they were told. But Mary treasured all these things in her heart and often pondered what they meant. The shepherds returned to their flock, ecstatic over what, they ha over what had happened. They praised God and glorified him, for they all had heard and seen for themselves, just like the angel had said. That's amazing.
Jesus was born in Bethlehem near Jerusalem during the reign of King Herod. After Jesus' birth, a group of spiritual priests from the east came to Jerusalem and inquired of the people, where is the child who is born king of the Jewish people? We observed his star rising in the sky and we've come to bow before him and worship. King Herod was shaken to the core when he heard this. And not only he, but all of Jerusalem was disturbed that they had heard this news. So he called the meeting of the Jewish ruler, Jewish ruling priests and religious scholars demanding that they tell him where the promised Messiah was prophesied to be born. He will be born in Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, they told him, because the prophecy states, and you little Bethlehem are not insignificant among the clans of Judah, for out of you will emerge a shepherd king of my people Israel.
When they arrived in Bethlehem, Mary went into labor and she, and there she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped the newborn baby in strips of cloth and Mary and Joseph laid him in the feeding trough since there was no available space in any upper room in the village. gather together as family, as family of choice. We remember throughout the season of Advent that we have lived, waited, and remembered the hope, peace, the joy, and the love of God found in Christ Jesus. 
we remember also and we embrace God's call for each of us to be a reflection of Christ's light of hope, peace, joy, and love. Today, we gather together and we light the Christ candle in celebration and honor of the birth of Christ Jesus. Star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy burning light. Let your light shine, let your light. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. Ako ay reflection ng ilaw ni Cristo sa mga tao. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. Yo soy el reflejo de la luz de Cristo para los demás. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I'm a reflection of Christ's light to others. Nanin. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. Soy la reflexión de la luz de Cristo hacia lo demás. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. I am a reflection of God's light to others. I am a reflection of Christ's light to others. Yo soy una reflexión de la luz de Dios a otros. And that is indeed what we are. We are called to light the world, are we not? And as soon as that video finishes, I think that's the move.
let's give it up for our musicians. Amazing stylings of Maryland. <laughs> the phenomenal strummings of May. <laughs> the blessed rhythm of Chris. <laughs> the amazing voice of Marty. <laughs> A huge thank you to our scripture readers. Yeah. Yeah. John, Joyce, and Chris. And no service would be complete without thanking our technology people. Yeah. So, a huge thank you to Kevin and to Chris for doing a phenomenal job. Don't forget our Pastor Dale. Oh, I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> and uh, Chris had to exit stage left for a moment. Anna took over to run the camera and make sure that we didn't miss it. Right. So thank you all so much. Yeah. So I think we might have a little couple of closing notes. What do I have for announcements? Oh yeah, just a reminder. Next Sunday, 3.30, game day. Bring snacks to share. Okay? Because I'm about over announcements. <laughs>
as we prepare to leave this day and go to the next days, being mindful of everything that God is calling us to do and how God calls us to be that gift of hope, peace, joy, and love. You know, as I shared with the morning church this morning, uh, late Friday night after I had gone to bed, I received a text message asking for address and phone number for someone who uh, God had laid on another person's heart that they needed help. And so I provided that information. And it's about exactly what we've been talking about all through Advent being aware of and being open to and hearing when God calls us to do something. Right? And that's how we make this world a better place. And so as we prepare to leave this place, all have eaten way too much. <laughs> and most of us are ho, ho, ho now because we look like Santa Claus. <laughs> Let us never forget exactly what God calls us to do, right? And so who would like to join me as we bid our folks watching us out on the net of bonds of do and roll them yeah. here? Yeah. You want to roll them a kiss from there? All right, let me come. I will come on this side, Christian. <laughs> And so, as we've done every week for months, <laughs> we wish each and every one of you a blessed week and a fond adieu. Not fondue, but a fond adieu. <laughs> Until we meet again. And so, one, two, three. <laughs> 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 <laughs>